What's going on everyone? Roscoe here, we are back. So today we're gonna be taking a look at the new Yeezy 350 V2 Zion. Now this sneaker is rumored to be releasing on July 18th for a retail price of $220. Now you can feel the anticipation and the excitement for this release as this shoe was originally scheduled to release in June but unfortunately it got pushed back till July and we have seen images of this sneaker all over the internet for the past few months and some people are saying that this shoe right here is the best colorway of the 350 V2 for 2020. But before we dive into it all, I just wanna thank my good friend, Souls for Less. I'll put his Instagram handle right here on the screen. Make sure you go check him out and give him a follow. He's also running a lot of sneaker raffles right now. Also want to announce that I am doing a giveaway. You can win yourself a pair of 350 V2 Zions. All you have to do, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, follow me over on Instagram, and then down in the comments, just let me know what sneaker you are looking forward to. Leave your Instagram handle right next to it. And also, leave your size. July 18th, when I do the live cop, I will be buying your size. I already have my pair. I will be copying your pair live. Good luck to everybody. I'm excited to take a look at this sneaker. Is this the best colorway? Let's be honest. Now this sneaker just comes in a regular Yeezy box. Now sizing for a 350. If you've never owned a pair of 350s, I recommend going a half size up. These do run a little bit small, and for me personally, I always go a half size up. So let's take a look at this sneaker. Whew. These are nice. This is the new Yeezy 350 V2 Scion, and first impression is these are nice. These are really, really nice. Biggest complaint I hear with Yeezys, and especially 350 V2s, oh, they all look the same. But this one right here is different. Base coat color of the Primate is a tan. You know, we're used to seeing tans, I know. But the second colorway that they added is this dark brown but it has like a burgundy hue in there, which I really, really like. You have that on the translucent stripe, and you also have that second coat right below the translucent stripe, and also on the medial side, it's in that stitching. It is a third colorway in here, which is gray. You'll see that gray right around the ankle collar, and it's also in the stitching here, right above the top quadrant. Now, they've been playing with that a lot lately with 350 V2s. You've seen it actually the most drastically on the Yeh Cheels, where they added that third red, <laughs> that bright red right above the stripe. On this one, they kind of went subtle. They just did a two-tone, the tan, and then that gray. Now, the laces is that nice tan. Uh, it's not reflective. Nothing reflects on the shoe besides the three stripes, which always happens with these 350 V2s is on the inside. There is no reflective Zion. It just comes in this non-reflective version. I see white sole, which I think it looks nice on this shoe, but you know I'm not a huge fan of icy white soles because they do yellow over time. So make sure you wear your kicks because you're gonna pull these out of the box one day and the oxidization will turn these all yellow and you'll be like looking at yourself like, I didn't even wear these. So I see white sole and then the bottom, they went with more of like a light tan for the bottom, which looks really nice because it comes up here on the back of the heel. One thing I noticed, which I think everyone else notices out there too as well, the spine of the sneaker, they went with a heavy stitch. They play a lot with the stitching on these shoes. I've seen it with like the Desert Sage, the linens, they had a flush look. They actually hid the stitch, so you can't see it. So it's just a flushed look to the whole toe box. And then I've also seen back in the old Statics, the black static 350 V2s from last year. There's a heavy knot stitch where it stands out. This one, it's a flushed look, but it's heavy stitching. I don't wanna say a dark gray or like a black. It's super noticeable. It definitely pops off the sneaker. I don't mind it. I like that they're changing up a little bit because I feel like these 350 V2s do need like a refreshing look to them. Cause like they, you can notice too, they went heavy stitch below the translucent stripe here and then they went heavy stitch on the medial side. I really like the medial side of this shoe. I think it looks really, really nice. It definitely has that turtle dove 
vibe. I know a lot of people have been comparing it to the turtle doves over the internet, and I would agree. If you're just jumping into the Yeezy game and you weren't around back in 2015, this is a great reminiscence of that time. Classic, first 350 V2s, and I know a lot of you guys out there probably can't afford that sneaker on the secondary market. So to have something with that similar vibe, man, this shoe is awesome. Is this the best 350 V2 for 2020? As of right now, yes. If you are tired of 350 V2s or you've been picking and choosing which ones to get for this year, the Zion 350 V2 is one that you should not pass up on. I don't know if it's gonna be my favorite, you know, we still, we're halfway through the year and there's a bunch of 350s on the way. Say right now, this is the front runner and for sure, this is a top three colorway. How is this gonna be releasing? Well, I heard the stock number for this shoe is very, very high. They made a ton of pairs of this shoe. It makes sense that Adidas and Yeezy would make a ton of pairs of this shoe. The 350 V2 has to be one of the best unisex shoes on the market. A lot of women love this shoe. A lot of men love this shoe. And when you have a great all around good colorway, that I think it's gonna be you know, good with women and good with men. It's gonna sell out no matter what. They made a ton of pairs of this shoe and I believe it's gonna be dropping everywhere. It will be selling at Champs, Foot Locker, Finish Line, all those small foot sites will have them. So the boutiques will have them. Probably, you know, obviously Adidas, maybe Adidas Raffle, and then also Yeezy Supply. That's gonna happen as well. So this shoe's gonna be dropping everywhere. What does that mean for resale value for the Zion? I don't think it's gonna be high after it releases. Everyone's gonna buy it, try to sell it. It's just gonna cut the price lower, lower, and lower. I think it's gonna be end up at like 275, maybe 265. But this shoe right here is going to be a great Yeezy to hold long term. Buy a bunch of pairs, leave them in a storage, leave them in your closet. Six months from now, they're gonna shoot right up. And I think this one could probably end up at 350, 400, because you're probably gonna look back on this shoe and say that this is the best 350 for 2020. So that is my video for you guys today. Good luck to everyone who is going to enter to win yourself a pair of these Zions. These are really, really nice. Definitely going straight to feet. I appreciate everyone for tuning in for today's video. If you enjoyed, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. I bet you guys noticed I am wearing the new Roscoe's 50K subscriber hoodie. I've been serving a lot of W's on the live cops. So I wanna celebrate, we're gonna hit that 50K milestone very soon. So I have some new merch available. I have hoodies and t-shirts available. So here is the logo of the t-shirt. Very, very dope. Now over 50K W serve. That's what we do here on my channel. We serve nothing but Roscoe's chicken and W's.